how to build and distribute a Go application without putting it on Nix packages. In the article, we will copy and paste in sample app go into system packages, and then we'll grab this package override section, paste that in as well. Then we can run sudo nixos rebuild switch, let that run. And once it's done, you can run sample app go, and it works. If you wanna try out the local build, clone this down, go to 179, go into sample app go, and run nix build. This will build everything locally. And when it's done, you can do dot slash result slash bin slash sample app go, and it works. To test the remote build, CD into the NixOS folder and run Nix build again, and you can see it still works, even though it's fetching URL from GitHub. First, we'll create a Go application, then we'll run it in NixOS using local only, where you have to have it cloned beforehand. Then we'll create default.nix, which helps us test on NixOS, and we will build and install from GitHub, which would work anywhere, regardless of cloning. But why bother with this? Well, this is PageKey where we take back tech. So tech is good, it makes life easier. Big companies build tech, it's also good because otherwise we wouldn't have the smartphone or anything like that. The problem is we don't understand tech and it's built in a way that we can't take it apart and change it. It's not modular and we depend on these big companies to maintain that tech for us, which might be bad depending on whether our incentives are aligned. So. We can learn about tech, we can build things ourselves, and become independent again. I like to throw back to the 1950s and 60s where you see people working on their own cars. That's what we need to be doing for our own tech. You need to be working on your own email server, your own file server. All these different things should be in the confines of your home, not in some distant data center. So you can generate a Go application with the go mod init command. That's going to give you this go.mod and a main.go. And then a lot of what we're going to talk about is in default.nix, which will have the instructions to build the application using Nix. Main.go, we keep it pretty simple, but we do have three things going on here. First of all, we have a simple print. Then we have a third party package called Logris. So this proves we can install other Go packages and still run them. And finally, we have this get greeting function, which is defined in a separate file that we wrote. So you have the third party packages and you have your own source code all in one file. Here's greetings.go, which has that get greeting function that we just saw. Now our default.nix is quite simple thanks to this build go module function provided by nix packages. So all we have to do is fill this out with some metadata, the source directory is dot, and then I calculate this vendor hash based on the error that it threw, and proxy vendor is true. So this just means that we don't have to run any commands to download the dependencies beforehand, it'll just do it for us. So following along with the article, we fill out main.go and greetings.go, and then we can fill in our very simple build file that only builds locally, and then we can run Nix build, and it works. So what we have already, we can run on NixOS. Actually, it's not that hard. Just update your system packages to have sample app go, and then we're going to add an override or overlay to tell it what sample app go is. In this case, we're just going to call package and pass the full path to that default.nix that we just did in the last demo, and then have those curly braces to call it as a function. So we'll paste this into the config, we'll switch our Nixos system, and you can see that this executable comes available. If you're using Home Manager, you can probably do this in a similar way. The only problem with this is, you can see it's referencing a hard path in my home area. So anyone who doesn't have this cloned down is going to get an error when they try to run this NixOS config. We'll fix that soon. To test out what we have so far in NixOS, we have to add sample app go to our system packages, and then we can paste in this overlay that will call the local path to the file. So this has the full path to the default.nix for our app. If we run sudo nixos rebuild switch, let it run. And once it's done, you can run sample app go and it works. So testing with nixos is cool, but sometimes it's a pain to build your whole system. So with this little trick using default.nix, we can test at a much smaller scale. Create any folder name and inside of it, all you have to put is default.nix and we can put this in here. You'll see this is exactly what we were doing in our NixOS config. We're calling package with a full path to the default.nix, and we can test this. If this passes, typically your NixOS config will also pass. So it should be faster to iterate on this if you're doing something complicated in Nix. If you don't want to rebuild your entire NixOS system, you can copy and paste this snippet. It's actually exactly what we just put in the NixOS config in a slightly different format, but it still has that full path to the file. And now instead of running NixOS rebuild switch, we can just run Nix build and we'll catch a lot of the same errors and we get the same output. You can also throw multiple apps into the same file. So you can have your C app here and your Go app and export both of them. Let's see what that looks like if you run it. If you wanna copy this second example here, you can actually make sure that this works with other packages in the same environment too. So this built both of them and I can run dot slash result bin sample app C and result two bin 
sample app go. They both compiled from the same default.nix file. So how do we build from GitHub instead of using local clones? Well, we're gonna have to upgrade our apps default.nix to include source and subder. Source lets us fetch that source from GitHub if we pass it in as an argument to our function. So the local build still works, but we have the option of overriding it. Subder is similar where this is buried several layers deep in a repo somewhere. So you can CD into the sub level of that repo because fetch from GitHub will see only gets the top level source. So sometimes you need to CD further into that source before you build the Go module. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. The source gets set to SRC here to avoid a name conflict down here because this is the same name. We don't want an infinite recursion. And then we just use those two variables as our SRC definition in build code module. And that's all we need to do. So we'll go into our applications default.nix and paste this in to upgrade it to include source and subder. Can run a quick nix build to make sure local build still works. Looks good. Then in our nixos testbed, we can run nix build after pasting over get from GitHub here, and we'll copy that hash from the error, run build again. It downloads the file this time. We get another hash error for the source this time, so the fetch from GitHub, we will paste that into the hash there and run nix build a third time. And finally, that completes successfully, and we get our sample app go built from GitHub. All right, let's test this out on NixOS. So it's gonna be basically a lift and shift from our default file over into our NixOS config, and we'll do the same thing with the hashes. Let's see what that looks like if you run these commands. Last but not least, we can take this default.nix that we just saw working and paste it directly into our NixOS config right here. And now if we run sudo nix os rebuild switch, when that completes, we can run sample app go and we see it run. We didn't have to clone anything and anyone can cut and paste this into their nix os config and make it work. So that's all we wanted. So that's it for this video. We created a Go application, ran it in NixOS local only, and then we did some testing with default.nix. We were able to fetch the source from GitHub and build it without having anything cloned down, giving us a snippet that anyone could paste into their file and use without any extra configuration if they're using NixOS. So if you liked this, subscribe to Take Back Tech. We're constantly rebuilding things from scratch, self-hosting, and much more to increase our digital independence. So thank you for watching.